Welcome back to the Republic of Sikistan. Today's video is brought to you by the Snatch specific programs over at Seekestrength.com. We have three different Snatch programs, weak overhead, stop swinging the bar and just good old fashioned Snatch PB. All are eight weeks, two sessions per week and everything you need for a better Snatch. It does not include your squats for reference. So if you're wondering where the last training vlog went, it actually got corrupted. So that's why you're seeing the thumbnail again. This is a different session. The original files got corrupted and Premiere Pro corrupted the outcome. So we missed three good sessions. Essentially what I was saying is it's time for that kind of Bulgarian style training. It's a time in the training block for me to just lots of heavy singles for the next couple of weeks. You know, Bulgarian, Romanian, Greek, Kazakhstan, whatever you want to call it, that kind of style of training. And you know, I've that lots of volume built up of kind of the work capacity and the volume put in to kind of reap the rewards of that side of training. So we're kind of moving into that phase now where it's probably four to five sessions a week of that heavier stuff and then maybe one to two sessions where it's like kind of 85% of the working maxes. And so this is one of the sessions. So we're currently working at 143, 160, but it will get moving pretty quick, I think. So here is 130. Uh, the sessions are funny it's hard to get a uh, good mental adaptation so here's a 130 miss just sh pure shite uh, but anyway come back in and make it no problem so the goal the minimums it's, it's kind of looking for minimums but you're always trying to push as much as you possibly can get uh, within safety and reasonable limits so in that 130 jumping a little bit too wide on these so while you're aiming for each session is as heavy as you can go some coaches encourage misses some are not a huge fan of them. I'm not a massive fan of them. Uh, I'm trying to be as intuitive as possible and I've kind of numbers I need to be hitting. So here's 133, so taking smaller jumps after that. So not bad. So quite fatigued at this stage. This is like fifth day of training in a row. So while the bar speed isn't slow, I'm a little bit fatigued in terms of my body. Moving on to 135. The absolute bare minimum for the snatch is 135 and the bare minimum right now for the clean and jerk is kind of 150. Uh, but we're moving those closer to um, hopefully 140, 170 in the not too distant future. Moving on to 138, so smaller jumps in the snatch. You can never really take two smaller jumps. It's not that fatiguing. So 138 is quite decent, actually. And then we're moving on. So 140 kilos of a Thursday. Of a Thursday, let's. 140 kilos on a Thursday. It's madness, I know. But here we are, 140 on a Thursday. So 140, a lot of 140 is happening recently, which is great. And I'm still a good couple of weeks from the end peak. So that's very reassuring. And that's a decent 140 as well. I'm quite happy with that. Then moving on to clean and jerks. I'm, I'm happy with how the clean and jerks are going. I feel like I'm getting them again, uh, even though the fatigue is there. My squad is going up. And, you know, as much as you want to finesse the clean and jerk, you still have to be strong. So we're working with a 190 front squad of Wednesday, and that was quite good. So I think you'll start to see a nice benefit in my clean and jerk, or you'll start seeing a change when I kind of hit that 220 front squat and I think we'll start to see some nice working weights uh, and I think you'll see a little bit better. So timing the clean is getting better, technique is getting better. What I was really focusing on this session was moving my knees back and then keeping them back for longer. So you can make a mistake of moving your knees back and then bringing them in really fast again. So the action of your knees coming back in happens by itself, but the knees back, for some people, one of them I am, is something, I sound like Yoda there, but I'm one of those people that need to focus on it in boat lifts and I need to do a little bit more in the snatch again. So this is where I talk about cues lasting forever, for months, for, you know, I've been working on this for like two years, so it is what it is. So nice 140 here, good timing, good rack position. Really trying to drive the bar behind my head in the jerk and I'm quite happy with how that is. Trying to not let my hips come forward in the dip and my knees come too far forward. So here's 150. So quite happy with this, solid, good whip in the bar, good dynamic clean. Uh, jerk was okay, could have been better. So moving on to 155. Uh, I am feeling the progress in the clean and jerk at the moment from these from these heavier stuff. You know, there's only so much volume you can do before clean and jerks have to be done heavier. Uh, so I was quite ha very, very happy with this, to be honest, um, considering the situation and a good jerk. But uh, we'll, by the time you're seeing this, I'll have two more sessions on Saturday and Sunday. So hopefully we'll push a little bit beyond that 140, 160. Then move on to the back squat. I was under a little bit of time pressure today of my own fault. Normally I try to give myself as much time as possible. So I didn't do any drop down sets in the snatch or the clean and jerk or the back squat, even though the back squat is moving well. L lower back fatigue, but not so bad. Uh, moving on then, just hit 220. There is my pops and he, <laughs> my nephew, mm. little quad waddle on him. 
and uh, there's 220 nice and easy so i reckon the max at the moment is somewhere in the region of 250 for the back squat and i think 270 will be enough but i'll keep going beyond 270 if needs be because if it's not too fatiguing for me to get beyond that 270 then i'll obviously take it because it is of benefit uh, in relation to the training vlogs let me know what you kind of like so i always like to see because for me this is the kind of training vlog i like to see if you know this was Ilya or clarence or any number of weightlifter just someone who i liked watching a lifter i liked if they sat down and talked about their training and just videoed it a lot of fluff that's what i like you know and that's what i plan to keep doing but if there's something i'm missing i know some people have asked for warm-ups and i will we will definitely be doing more warm-up videos again in the gym we just need to go to a gym to video those sessions but if there's something that i'm not seeing because i like this format you know and I'm, I'm happy to keep making this format and it's very reproducible and it's very something i can be really consistent with you know trying to get like two or three maybe two a week if possible bearing premier pro upset this week so let me know if you have any questions about my training, I really like when people ask them below because uh, it's interesting to see what people are thinking because it just helps us all the time. I know we coach a lot of lifters and there's, what was it, like 1,100 people in the Facebook group of all mixes of, of different athletes, you know, not just weightlifters. But I always like to see what people are thinking because it lets us know what areas are people missing uh, in terms of their knowledge and what are you wondering about because it's always good to stay in touch with that. So... Uh, I'll see you back here uh, on probably Tuesday for another training vlog. I know Fitz has some heavy squats this weekend for his vlog. So back again. Hopefully we'll be on that 140, 160 when you see me next vlog. And for today's algorithm comment, tell me the favorite place you've been on holiday. I think my favorite place I've been on, which wasn't like a... Excluding the kind of like work or Mongolia trip or something like a holiday trip. I gotta say probably Croatia and specifically maybe Havar somewhere was very very cool one of my favorite holidays in Europe uh, Europe's pretty awesome but let me know yours uh, I'm very interested to know uh, because a lot of Irish people do a lot of traveling but it's interesting to see where people from other countries go to peace okay enjoy your weekend well you've already enjoyed it enjoy your week best of luck this week get a good Monday going